everyone, it's me, Lovely Evolution. It is Wednesday, February 26th? Yes, 26th. It's 4 a.m. in the morning time. I'm about to head out the door and go to work, but before I do that, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Today is day number one, two, three of my pre-op diet. How am I doing? Um, I'm doing okay. Um, I'm still doing the two shakes and the salad with protein at dinner time. How am I feeling? Um, I feel okay, but there are times where I get really jittery and, um, I don't like it. Um, I just, I don't like it. Um, I get really shaky and that's not okay. So I'm trying to work with it without cheating or, you know. Like I said, this is my first or my third day, so really I'm doing this diet um, five days earlier than I'm supposed to, but I just want to get with the program, and the reason I'm doing it this early, like I said before, is I just want to be the healthiest me that I could be when I go into surgery. Um, and another reason why I want to do the pre op diet early is... Um, because I don't want to, well, it's not really another reason. It's just um, I'm adding these extra couple days onto my pre-op diet because I'm really scared of going under anesthesia. I've never been under anesthesia. I've had three epidurals, um, but I've never had, like, general anesthesia. So I'm very nervous about that. Um, it scares the crap out of me. Um, because obviously I have three beautiful children that I love to death and I would do anything for and you know general anesthesia it just puts me in an uncomfortable place because I'm out of control and I very much so like to be in control um, of everything that has to do with me and my and mine basically um, you know, when I wake up, I won't be seeing my children when, you know, for a couple of days. And I'm trying not to get emotional, but it's just hard because, you know, like with my sister, she had surgery um, here in San Diego. And she was able to wake up and she saw her niece, or her daughter and um, her family was there. And I won't have that. And I know, obviously, it's because I'm opting to go to Mexico to get it and my children have to stay back in the States but I'm just really um, nervous anxious, scared out my mind about that whole thing I don't know if I'm making sense right now because I'm rambling um, but there's a lot of stuff going on in my head, I'm just like how does it feel when you go under general anesthesia? Of course I looked up on YouTube how, you know, how it works but not necessarily um I'm, you know, the feeling of it. I just see them go from, like, talking to, like, knocking out. <laughs> um, you know, the dangers of it, you know. just I'm scared, y'all. Like, I'm really scared. And um, I'm just trying to put it in God's hands because that's all I can do. And, um, you know, that's what I had to do this whole process is if I get the surgery, if it's going to happen, cool, you know, I prayed for it, I prayed that God would line up everything, and so far, so good, so I'm just trying to stay positive and not beat myself up, you know, and then another thing is, is that I feel kind of selfish for going to get the surgery, um, I'm so used to being hands-on with my kids, and, um, you know, I feel like, it, God forbid if anything happened to me, um, it's because I chose to get the surgery, but then I also have to think about, well, I'm not choosing for anything bad to happen to me, I'm choosing life, because, you know, maybe not a lot of people get this, but I know people that have had the surgery and have been in my position, this is really life or death, um, for us, so, um, Anyway, that's enough with me rambling. I just wanted to make a quick update video, tell you how I'm feeling. So far, so good. I'm just a little bit jittery on the diet. Um, my first official two-week pre-op 
date is the 28th, which is on Friday, and it's Wednesday right now. So, anyway, I'm going to go because I have to get all my kids in the car and go to work. But you guys have a blessed day, and thanks for watching.